My name is Celia C. Peters, and I am a filmmaker and visual artist. Um, right now, I'm working in the, the sci-fi genre. So I primarily do science fiction film, and my visual art, which tends to be 2D art, but I would say digital collage is sort of where I've been working. So that it also has a very futuristic um, vibe and theme. Okay. I would say that probably was about 2008. Um, I started designing stationery, actually, mm. and so the artwork that I was doing for paper products was unfor it was very unfortunately timed because people were sort of going full stream into the digital yeah. <laughs> platform. Right. But I was really drawn to, I mean, as a, as a kid, I was really into stationery, my mom was, and so I was doing these sort of futuristic geometric designs mm -hmm. um, then, but that was, I would say it was then, 2008, mm. I got the bug. Mm, interesting. Yeah, you're right, because it's like, you know, even though it's beautiful, and I remember the times when I used to send invitations, mm -hmm. I would go pick up the paper, yes. and we think about the ink, yes. and then now she's like, doop, and you can send it. Who wants to fix stamps ad nauseum, right? right. And now, uh, over this time, it's sort of come back full circle, because then you had the sort of digital replications of paper, paper invitations and stationery, and now fine stationery is really sort of made a comeback so right and it's more classy when people take the time out to oh, do of it course. yeah of course. Um, that moment happens all the time actually to be totally mm -hmm. honest with you um, what keeps me going is the love of what I do and sometimes I think about myself as a little girl um, who you know myself the young girl who was a sci-fi fan and wanted to see someone who looked like me driving the story and I think about little girls now who still aren't getting that mm -hmm. and who, want, who need that, I think. Um, I think about my goddaughter, Luna, who, you know, is, is a little girl who is, you know, I want her to be able to see people, who, characters who look like her yeah. in the future. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, how old is Luna? Because my daughter's name is Lula. Eleven. <laughs> Eleven. Yeah, yeah. Lula's uh, seven. We almost said eight. No, she's seven. But um, you're right. I mean, I think that way about my daughter too. When I thought about. You know, why I wanted to do this is I wanted to have emotional intelligence to be something that people can access to become the best version of themselves so people can build bridges with each other because if I wasn't a part of creating something for the future then I, just fretting about it I felt so helpless. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I'm not one for that. Yeah. I, I'm, I need to be active and I need to be proactive. Well, um, everything's online in terms of the film. Um, and in terms of uh, raising money, so right now we're crowdfunding a, a, a proof of concept short for my feature Godspeed. And Godspeed is a near future sci-fi project, which is really, I think, an Afrofuturist project mm. um, film. So it's, you know, uh, we're on Indiegogo until November 17th. Okay. Um, they've heard it before, but just do it. Just start creating and keep creating. Um, my advice is, don't give up. I mean, I don't give up. And, you know, I think if you look at the stories of artists, you know, who were great, ones who were well-known, ones who were not so well-known, the one thing is that they kept making things, they kept creating. Yeah. And personally, for me, it's like a drive. It's something that it just leads me on all the time. Mm -hmm. It leads me forward. That need to keep creating in different directions. Yeah. And you don't even know what the outcome is going to be. You just, no. you just keep getting there somehow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I don't even need to know. I just know that I need to keep, you know, bringing something into the world. Mm -hmm. well, thank you, Ms. Peter, so much for your time, and I look forward to seeing your work at CCIM. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it.